Good morning and welcome to Panasonic Live at ISE 2016. So as projection mapping gets more popular, as resolutions increase and the complexity of live events increases as well, the need for media server support is more critical than ever. D3 provides that kind of support and Sarah Cox is with us here on Panasonic Live at ISE. Sarah, tell us what we've got behind us. So what you've got here is actually a content that's been created by Aspect Unlimited and they're actually using D3 as a compositing media server. They're taking two to three layers of 16K textures and then using D3 to composite that together. D3 is also feed mapping and chopping up what needs to be sent to each of your projectors and it's the media server playback engine in order to deliver the high resolution content. Okay, we've got 4K projectors there, does, does that help or hinder you? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, when you're delivering 4K, the problem in the market at the moment is how to deliver for a 4K signal. DisplayPort 1.2 is just not really there yet for the, the lengths that you need. So what we're running here is one 4x4 Pro machine with four VFC technology cards. It's video format conversion. We're taking a 4K signal and we're quad splitting it into four streams of 1080 over SDI. That's frame synced, absolutely gen locked across the system. So we're able to give you from one 4U box, 16 streams of SDI, making one large projection canvas like this. Now in this, this situation here, D3 is not doing any of the um, geometry or the blending. That's all being done on the Panasonic 4K projectors. Okay, so what's the motivation for D3 and Panasonic coming together at shows like this? Well, at a show like this, your customers want to use 4K and they want to be able to have a way of um, showing that through the projectors. So a D3 media server gives you the means to be able to transmit that 4K signal, composite the show together and actually create a large format blend like this, which is a 16K texture. Uh, without a media server to do that, um, that'd be quite a difficult thing to be able to then send up to the projectors. Interesting. Sarah, thank you for joining us on Panasonic thank Live you. at I. Don't forget to tune in at one o'clock. We'll be seeing what happens when you combine lighting and projection. It's really cool and it's next.